Hi there, I'm Katie Howes and I'm a picture book author. I'm getting ready for World Read Aloud Day, which is one of my favorite days of the year. It's because I get to Skype into classrooms all around the world and share books with them and hear from the students and the readers all about what they think about reading and writing and stories and more. Last year I shared my book, Magnolia Mud and the Super Jumptastic Launcher Deluxe, illustrated by Valerio Fabretti. When we got done reading and talking about writing, and about inventing and about rocket launchers, I showed the kids in the classrooms how to make a really cool craft um, confetti launcher. It's just a toilet paper tube, a balloon, and some duct tape. And you can use it to launch just about anything. It was such a big hit that I knew that this year I'd need to come up with another craft too. So this year I'm sharing my new book, Be a Maker. It's illustrated by Elizabeth Vakovic and it comes out in bookstores everywhere on March 5th this year. Since it's not actually available to buy on World Read Aloud Day, the classrooms that I'm Skyping with get a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, and I'm sorry the rest of you have to wait till March. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you all how to do the craft so that you can start being makers right now. Be a maker is about the many things we can make in a day, whether it's a mess or a snack or a friend or maybe even a difference. And one of my favorite spreads in the book is where Elizabeth has drawn um, pictures of the kids helping build a playground in their neighborhood. So I've decided that I'm going to show you how you can make some playground equipment of your own. Look at this beautiful artwork. Doesn't that look like fun? All right, so I'm going to show you how to make some playground equipment of your own today with some very simple materials. You're going to need two pipe cleaners. You're going to need three paper straws, a little bit of string, some sticky back foam with the peel-off back. You'll also need scissors, and you'll need a ruler, which probably works better this way with the numbers. There we go. You can also use a little bit of Play-Doh or play clay or air dry clay, and I'll show you what you need that for later. Okay, first thing we're going to do is cut those paper straws so that they're the right sizes. What you're going to want is to get one straw that's about four inches long. And you're going to want four pieces of straw that are about three inches long. And you want those to be as close to the same length as possible, nice and even. You're also going to need to cut a piece of string, make that about eight inches long, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you're going to cut a piece of the sticky back foam as well. I've made this one about an inch wide and about two inches long. Okay, let's get to work building some playground equipment. You're going to take your two pipe cleaners and line them up together nice and even and spread the ends apart a little bit. Take two of your shorter straws, about three inches long, and slide one on the end of each pipe cleaner. You're going to bend these little bits to make little feet at the end there. You're going to turn it around and you're going to hold both pipe cleaners together so that you can slide them both through the longer straw, the four inch piece. Slide it all the way down, leave just a little bit of space there. You're going to spread the other end and you're going to take the remaining two short straws and slide them on. Now you've kind of got this X-wing fighter spidery thing going on. We're going to bend the ends down to make a little triangle at each end. And now what does it look like? It makes a really good swing set you guys. So let me tip the screen down so you can see when I put it on the table how it looks. Can you see that? There we go. You bend it around till it sits the way you want it to. And if it's not sitting right, that's when we bring in the Play-Doh. Kind of stick it down here, stick it down there, all the corners till it stays where you want it to. It's not staying where I want it to right now. And I'm just sticking it right now to a piece of cardboard that I've recycled from a shipping container. 
I save all the cardboard and styrofoam that gets shipped to my house. All right, so now it's stuck on there, nice and neat and tidy. Next, we're gonna make the actual swing part. So I'm gonna tip this up again so you can see what I'm doing. Take my piece of string and my sticky back foam for this. We're gonna peel the back off the foam. And this is the exciting part of the video where we see how long you'll watch me wrestle with foam. I got it. Okay, you're gonna put the string right in the middle of the foam and try to make the ends fairly even. Fold down the top so it covers the string in the back. Fold up the bottom so it covers the string in the back. And you've made yourself a nice little swing seat. All right, next we're gonna tip back down here so that you can see what we're making. We're just gonna tie it on with a little knot on each side. And you know what, I could sit here and tie knots all day and you'd have to watch me do it and it would be very slow and not very interesting. So in this case, I'm gonna cheat and use a little piece of tape to hold it on so it goes a little more quickly. All right, what I have found is when I do this, it sits up a little crooked at first. You can kind of give it a tug down, maybe get a friend to help you get it even. But all in all, we've made ourselves a really nifty little swing set here. Now you can use your imaginations and think of what other playground equipment you could make with materials you have around. My kids and I got to work on this the other day. We used a piece of styrofoam that came from a packing container and we used those same materials, the pipe cleaners, the straws, the string and the sticky foam. So we made the swing set, we made a set of monkey bars, and we made a pretty nifty slide although it doesn't have any stairs to get up to it right now, so we probably have to work on it. And then we drew in the rest of the playground with some permanent markers. And I think this would be a really fun activity for your classroom to do as a group. Maybe draw out a plan first of all the things you would want in your playground or park. Split into teams that each have different assignments of what they're going to make, and they can make plans for how they're going to construct them. And then you could build it all together. I would love to see what you and your classroom do, and I would love to hear when you get this book what you think about it. Again, Be a Maker is available March 5th, and in the meantime, you guys can share with me all the amazing things that you're making. I hope you have a wonderful World Read Aloud day, and that you enjoy being makers every single day. Thanks a lot!